Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Um, I really wanted to hit on what's going on currently with Miss Carisha and Grandpa Diddy even though he's not a grandfather, he's old enough to be one. Um, so it's a lot of mess going on with this situation. I want to talk about it a little bit further because she's back online going at it with another one of his, you know, selections. And um, first, let me say this, because one thing I've noticed with social media, if you're talking about somebody's faves and all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're, you're bashing, you're not right. It's funny that when I hold women, and I don't care what race the woman is, accountable, all of a sudden is your woman shaming, you're talking down on women. But when I hold black men accountable and, you know, call them out for their bullshit, yes, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't get that. I just, I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I keep the same energy for everyone. I don't like when people play in my face. You know what I'm saying? Do what you want to do, but don't sit here and lie and try and play in my face. And my issue with this whole Carisha situation. Now, you guys remember when she first got with Diddy. What did I say? I was here for it. You had a lot of older women who felt the way about her dating Diddy. And I'm like, why do y'all care? She's grown. Diddy's grown. Well, she's young and he could be manipulating her. She is 28. She's closer to 30 than she is 20. Are you really upset about Diddy possibly manipulating her? Are you upset because you're not in that space? Okay. I said from day one, I didn't care about her being in a relationship with Diddy. As long as she understood her place, she understood, you know what I'm saying, where she stood in the grand scheme of things. Do you get that bag, get that money, go on trips, have a good time? Because other races teach their daughters OK, they're not teaching their daughters to run and, you know, get married and help, you know, build up their black cane. That's not what they're teaching their daughters. They're teaching their daughters to go after men of power and status. And one thing about Papa Diddy is that he's definitely a man of power and status, like it or not. It's the truth. Right. So I thought there was nothing wrong with that. Because if she wasn't the one, it'd be, you know, some other little spicy Latina or Asian girl. So now it's, it's a black girl that got Diddy's attention. It's helping her brand. Okay. Uh, it's definitely helping his brand as well because she got the youth. You know, she's in hip hop. So I was here for it. My issue with Carisha came in because Carisha forgot her place in the grand scheme of things. And she started catching feelings. See, you can't brag about being a city girl. And I, you know, I got the best cooch and I fuck for bags and shoes and you know what I'm saying? Make them eat it and make them take you shopping. This is what they promote. So you can't call yourself a city girl, but then now you're sitting here getting in your feelings. Another thing that bothered me is that I don't like when people use these situations, black women in particularly, use situations like this to then try and talk down to other black women. So her telling black women, oh, y'all could only wish upon a star that y'all could be in this situation. Ma'am, hold up, okay? First and foremost, you're not in really a special situation. And people need to realize that what's for you is for you. Everybody may not want to be a part of Diddy or you know Nick Cannon or Lil Wayne's Haram. So let's start there, right? But let's also not act like these type of women don't exist. I get tired of like, there can only be one type of woman. Like all women are just here to get married and have families. And, you know, that's the way of the world. Absolutely not. What Carisha and these Asian women are doing has been done since the dawn of man. When a man has power and money, he has options. That's why I say I don't understand why any of these celebrities call themselves settling down. Once you're in a particular position, other women are not going to respect your wife or girlfriend. They don't care. Okay. 
And a lot of times these men are constantly tempted. They're not going to even respect their own situation. So why even go through the charade? Because that's what it is. It's the charade of being married. And so, again, I'm not mad at her because she was with him and, and getting, you know, whatever she deemed valuable from Diddy. Because, again, women of other races are taught to do that all the time and they get praised. Do you really think this new Asian lady, uh, what's her name, Dina Tran, Dana Tran, you think people are calling her baby mama? Absolutely not. Her community right now was praising her. You done came up. You done had a baby by Diddy of all people. And if you don't believe me, let's go back to the whole Jeannie Mai situation. I know there's a lot of Jeannie Mai fans. Um, but remember for years, oh, I don't want any kids. Oh, I don't see myself as a mother. I don't want any children. My white husband, whatever his name is, Frank. As soon as she got with Jeezy, who is worth 200 million, all of a sudden, oh, y'all are pregnant. Okay, because they understand money, power, generational wealth. She understands that now that she's had a baby with Jeezy, that money is going to go to her family and her community. See, that's how other people move. So nobody's calling, you know, this new lady a baby mama. They're saying game well played. And that's what Carisha didn't understand. And I'm not saying that Carisha needs to get knocked up by Diddy or anything like that. But the fact that she's online arguing with these other women and going back and forth and trying to prove to the world that her relationship was something more than what it was. And the fact that he's even gaslighting her with this response, like, she wasn't my side chick. She was my shoddy wife. Sir, we all, well, most of us, we grew up in the 90s. Shoddy Wop is another name for side chick, a girl that you're just fucking, but you're not with. She knows her place. You know her place. So because you're trying to switch the name to Shoddy Wop, sometime, somehow that's better than side chick. Diddy is a clown for that. So uh, <laughs> Miss Aisha says, Black women want struggle love. Thank you. I just, I don't get it. I, I just, I don't get it. Like I said, you know, if she has the, the option to be with somebody of power and influence and who's doing better than her, there's nothing wrong with that. Because her going back and forth, this is what it does. And this is what I hate about this whole situation, right? Her going back and forth with these Asian women and DJ academics. One, DJ academics never added her name. She should ignore him altogether. I don't even understand why people go back and forth with him, okay? She should ignore him altogether. But when she's gone back and forth with him and putting out their business out there, what these men of power, right? The guys, if y'all want to believe it or not, they're having conversations behind the scenes right now. Diddy, probably Jay-Z, all these men, they're having conversations. And what they're saying is, see, this is why I don't entertain ratchet young black girls. This is why I stick to exoticals because they know how to shut the fuck up because remember the other asian girl that was in that video with diddy look how she jumped up and ran out that camera scene had that been young miami she probably would have started twerking see these are conversations folks aren't ready for you know what i'm saying once you get into these positions you have to know how to play your role and she's messing it up for the for the next little young black girl who wants to be one of diddy's you know what i'm saying side chicks part of his shoddy walk crew because she's talking too damn much and being messy. She knew what it was. Why are you in your feelings? Now, on top of that, let me go ahead and uh, show you the back and forth that she had once again today. Matter of fact, we can take April Jones. April Jones was messing with Dr. Dre. They had their thing going on. People gave her props for, okay, she don't pull Dr. Dre better than pulling that, that mushroom peen little fizz who won't keep his butthole off my Twitter timeline. I think that was a great upgrade, especially being now that he's busting it wide open on OnlyFans. I said, my damn timeline smells like onions and, and, and just, ugh, stale meat. Why is his booty hole on my Twitter timeline? So props to April for getting out that disgusting situation, okay? People gave props to her. She done went, you know, she's talking to Dre, you know, they're hooking up, doing what they want to do, but you didn't hear Pete.
from either Dre or April. They were seen together. April never talked about it. And now, you know, that relationship cooled off and she's moved on to Tay Diggs. And she seems a lot happier in this situation with Tay Diggs. But my point is, she was dating a high power guy, you know, probably getting handbags and, you know, trips with him. She had a good time. April knew what it was. April wasn't online crying tattoo tears and, and claiming to be Dr. Dre's main chick. She wasn't asking Dr. Dre to, you know, to get her pregnant. She wasn't doing any of that. April just did her thing. It was what it was. And she moved on. And that's my issue with Carisha. Like, you, you're doing too much, sis. Yeah, I'm sorry. His pen is the ugliest pen I've ever seen. I didn't even know peens looked like that. I almost dropped my phone. Ah! It looks like a mushroom. Ah! Yuck. I shudder thinking about little Fizz's peen. And then had the nerd to just bust. Oh, gross. Oh. Ah! Get it out your mind, T. And this is why I hate Twitter. Because, again, I didn't go searching for little peens, little Fizz's peen. It was on my damn timeline. I didn't ask for that shit. I was minding my business. All I see is a mushroom-shaped peen spewing everywhere and a booty hole. So what the hell is this? Why is this on my time? I don't even follow Little Fizz. Let me calm down. Ugh. You can smell it. <laughs> Props to April for getting out that situation, sis. We see you. Props to Miss Monice, honey. I know you got a child with him, so you're kind of, you know, stuck. But just, we're praying for you, sis. Just hang in there till the baby's 18. Good gosh, I couldn't believe that shit. This dude is really on OnlyFans trying to get a check. And I know women are not paying for that. What women are paying to see that type of pain? I wouldn't anyway. I wouldn't give a dime. That shit looks weird. Um, okay, let me go. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> let me go ahead and show y'all her back and forth here. Give me just a second. Pull this up. Where is her back and forth with uh Gina? Okay, here we go. But first let me show you what Diddy had to say. Okay, let me share my screen. Give me just a second here. All right, so this is what Diddy had to say. Of course, he was talking to DJ uh, academics who won't stop harassing women. Um, Diddy says this, at Young Miami 305 is not my side chick. Never has been never will be she's very important and special to me and i don't play about my shoddy wop i don't discuss things on the internet and i will not start today even though i'm on the internet discussing things diddy's a weirdo then he goes on to say so think what you want but know that if you do something to hurt mine i'm gonna come to your house and we're gonna talk about it like human beings l-o-v-e love so that is what old man Diddy had to say. Basically, he was sending dog whistles to DJ Academics. Like, shut your mouth, clown. Don't fuck up my situation ship, okay? And we all know Carisha probably caught him crying. Was, you better say something. Because they're, they're, they're accusing me of being a side chick. And that, I am not. So, you know, he had to pull out the tiny violin. We don't care. Um, the fact that he caught her a shoddy wop, that's even worse, Okay. The fact that he said he doesn't go to the internet, sir, you're on, you're on you're on Beyonce's internet running your mouth about a situation that nobody asked you to run your mouth about, okay? You should have just ignored DJ Academics, just like Carisha should have ignored him as well. Now, this is her today. She got into it with uh, Gina Hun. Maybe I'm saying her last name wrong. I'm gonna just call her Hun. I don't, maybe the Y is silent. Sorry, he win, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but let's see here. They got into it. Oh, she got music. She says, when she's beefing with you over a ninja, but the whole time somebody else is pregnant. City girls down 1,000, okay? 
So that is what Gina said. And she, Young Miami just goes out. She says, you wanted a baby, bitch. I have a career hoe. You were certified freak. You haven't heard from Diddy since the awards reminiscent on abortions. Let the hurt go, Chung Lee. Then she says, Gina, you've been down bad ever since I came into the picture, ho. You've been crying for a baby for 10 years. Ho, you've been around as a bitch that eats coochie and pee when he feels like it. You a eater. You the same bitch that was crying over TK because you wanted a baby. Poor sushi. And then she says, bitch, you a munch. If you, if I wanted to eat coochie, Diddy would have had you on your knees, ho. You a eater. For real, I'm on one. I'm with whatever, whenever, at any given time. Y'all hoes play with Diddy, not me. Then she says, I'm sleepy now. Be back tomorrow. I'll argue with the cat. I don't give a F. I don't give a F. I'm a spicy mayo type bitch. By the way, I don't do brown sauce. I think she meant soy sauce. Then she says, for real, I'm on one. I'm with whatever, whenever, any given time. Okay, she would have said that. And then she sent it back. She said, Carisha, you know you want to taste my yum yum sauce. And then Carisha says, I love sushi. And the girl writes, she loves me. Okay. So that was them going back and forth. Um, <laughs> in my personal opinion, once again, Carisha's out here looking crazy. Why even respond to somebody who's supposed to be a non-factor? And, you know, a lot of the stuff she was saying was very high-key racist towards that girl. Now, for y'all saying, well, the girl put Ninja in her caption, uh, Gina's half black. She's black and Vietnamese, okay? So y'all the same ones who say that Karuchi Tran can, you know, use the N-word because she's half black and Vietnamese. So to me, I see no difference. But her calling her Chung Lee, soy sauce. Now, if the girl would have clapped back, and talked about, you know, Carisha wearing, you know, Asian people hair and, you know, started making, you know, derogatory terms about, you know, saying, well, I don't eat soul food and watermelon. Then y'all would have been crying tattoo tears and saying she was racist. So, I mean, yeah, she's Blasian. She's not full black. Um, Yeah, she's she's mixed. But um, I, I thought, you know, those those was kind of some like low blows. Like, why are you going at her ethnicity, you know? if you're just so unbothered another thing that i find very funny um no she's not full asian aj because i actually researched her she's half vietnamese she's half asian and half black i don't know if it, maybe it's filipino but yeah she's she's half black though she's not full asian um but what i find funny is that she's calling this girl a eater she's saying that the girl is stupid because um she wanted a baby by diddy but if y'all remember, let's see if I have it up here. Okay, here it is. Young Miami's projecting. Because if y'all remember, she too wanted a baby by Diddy. This was in June. Remember, she was on her Revolt TV show, Carisha, please, I'm not going to play it because, you know, copyright. But this is what she says. I want to have twins. So that's why I'm throwing it out there. Because I wanted a set of twins and I know they run your family. Diddy explains that while he's open to the option of more kids, he isn't too hung up on whether the next child will be a boy or a girl, just a happy baby. It wouldn't even matter to me just to be healthy and to have a chance to do it again. With all that I've learned now, I see it in my future. So mind you, when he's talking to her about having twins, she's begging him for twin babies, but you want to talk shit about this, this other girl, Gina. Y'all not keep receipts, bitch. You come in here, you're going to see a whole show full of receipts. I don't just pull stuff out the air and I don't, I don't get in my feelings over goofy shit, okay? So you're clowning this girl for wanting a baby with Diddy, but yet and still, your end goal was to have a baby with Diddy. And I just want, she wanted twins, Okay. And what's so funny about this whole conversation with her and Diddy is the whole time he has an Asian girl knocked up in the wings. Dana's pregnant. This was in June. Dana was knocked up around this time, but he's acting like he has no idea and, and stringing this goofy along. And then another thing, she's talking about, you know, 
the girls at Eda and, uh, you know, Diddy was just had her there to eat cooch. Well, excuse me, ma'am. Wasn't this you a few months ago wanting to eat out Meg the Stallion? See, we keep receipts around here. Remember, Ernest Owens was blasting her because young Miami uh, was talking about how she wants to eat Meg the Stallion out on her Carisha Please show. And Ernest says, I'm personally over these gay for clout celebrities who are truly homophobic in real life. Carisha, AKA Young Miami has threatened violence against her own child. But if but if they were to come out, if they were to come out as gay, but she's up here getting press and views playing up such with Meg Thee Stallion. Remember a few years ago, she said that she would beat her son to death if he was gay. So now you wanna clown this girl for doing the same thing that you want to do to Meg Thee Stallion. See, like I said, we dealing receipts here, okay? We dealing receipts. Titi, don't forget shit. So why why is her being an eater a bad thing? It looks like you wanted to be an eater of Meg Thee Stallion, okay? Looks like you want to get in between those knees. You know, I just find the whole situation just very comical. You know, like y'all be so gassed up about her clapbacks, but if you really understand, you know, if you just don't miss out on, you know, new shit, you're looking at her clapbacks is like, these clapbacks are stupid. You too wanted a baby by him. So why are you judging her? You too just offered to eat out somebody that you didn't know. So why are you judging her? It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, big scissor energy. I, I just find the whole situation just very comical with her. And, what, and what's even more funny, like I told y'all, when she had her baby, I have did that in the video. She thought because her baby look and her baby's beautiful, uh summer. Her baby's gorgeous. But she says she's swapping down. She has some type of Asian in her because her baby came out with straight hair and almond-shaped eyes. And people were dragging her. And I just find it very funny that she said that in 2019, only for Big Daddy Diddy. To actually knock up a real Asian woman. And he has the same Blasian baby that she was trying to claim, even though her baby's not Blasian, her baby's full black. Okay, so I just, I don't know. Sometimes you can speak things into existence. <laughs> I just found that whole thing comical. That she was trying to claim Asian because of how her child came out. And meanwhile, her, her, her you know, her lover, her shoddy wop is really out here having half Asian children and dating half Asian women. I just find the whole situation crazy. Ladies, definitely, definitely understand your worth. Um, yeah, she's she said a lot of problematic stuff over the years. I can't take her seriously. Like I said, um, you know, while they're and they're both goofy for this, you know, while they're arguing back and forth and you know, throwing shade at each other while she's being racist towards this half Asian woman, and this half Asian woman's trying to throw shade at her. Meanwhile, Big Daddy, he's in the nursery. All right, baby, go ahead and burp. Oh my gosh, she burped! Oh, look, she burped! He's, he's enjoying fatherhood, bitch! He's over there burping babies and changing diapers and rocking the little baby to sleep while these fucking women are, are, are going back and forth on Twitter. This is embarrassing at this point. Y'all look like two goofies, okay? Big Daddy's putting in work, okay? Big Daddy's playing daddy and, you know, living his best life with his new baby love and... Y'all are on Twitter arguing back and forth about old balls. But to each its own. <laughs> yes, Lola, he is in the nursery, honey. Burping the new baby. Changing diapers, okay? Making sure the alcohol is on the umbilical cord. He's doing what he's supposed to do as a father. Meanwhile, they're online arguing back and forth and talking about soy sauce and yum yum sauce. You can't make this up. Like I said, if you're going to be in these type of situations and that's what you choose to do, and I don't knock women who are in these situations because some women prefer to be kept women. They don't care what their men are out there doing as long as they're kept, you know, looking good and getting bags and, you know what I'm saying? So every woman's goal is not to be a wife. Every woman's goal is not to be in a struggle relationship with a black kind and shit. We was kings and shit. That ain't every woman's goal. Some women are okay being, you know, side chicks or, you know what I'm saying, uh, come get some side puss as long as you drop me off, you know, a few hundred dollars. Some people are okay with that and that's their grown business. As long as everybody's grown, I don't give a shit what grown folks do. 
Okay, my issue is when you don't know your position. And that's the problem. She keeps running her mouth and going back and forth with people on the internet. You're making it harder for the next girl. And Mr. Shoddy Wop, he's over here talking about this. Oh, you know, that's my Shoddy Wop. Oh, she means a lot to me. Really? Well, I'm confused that she means so much to you. Why are you not with the next black Shoddy Wop? So this is the new girl he's with. You can't make this shit up. Diddy said he's living his best old life. But he said, fuck these. I'm about to be fucking time in the grave. I ain't mad at him. He, he, he's powerful. He has money. He can do what he wants to do. And all these people are grown and consenting. So this is a new chick. She's pretty. She's an influencer. Her name is Shanta Josephs. Um, very beautiful girl. They were out and about, you know. I don't know what's in his hand. Child. But they're just, you know, living their best life. So this is a new girl that he's with. But he's over here crying about how, you know, young Miami's his main shoddy wop. Okay, sir, if you say so. I just hope that all these people keep the same energy. I hope he has the same energy when his twins end up being somebody's shoddy wop or when young Miami's daughter ends up being somebody's shoddy wop. Make sure y'all keep the same energy because I, I noticed, especially with a lot of these men who have power, they, ha they have no problem making other people's daughters side chicks and, you know what I'm saying, shoddy wops. But somehow when it comes to their child, their, their child is golden and can't be touched. Please get the fuck out of here, okay? Make sure you keep the same energy when, when another old man is smashing your 21-year-old, okay? Because these women that he's dating are young enough to be his children. Justin and what's the other well Quincy ain't his but Justin is the same age as his new baby's mother so I, I want grandpa shoddy walk to, <laughs> to keep the same energy okay when somebody Jay-Z's age you know what I'm saying starts you know looking at his twins once they become of age make sure you keep the same shoddy wop energy okay make sure you have that same shoddy wop Steve Harvey energy Remember when Lori Harvey was smashing Diddy and Steve Harvey was over there eating breakfast with him? <laughs> Make sure y'all keep the same shoddy wop energy when it comes to your own daughters. That's my. That's the only thing I say. And just like with uh, Future, uh, Lil Wayne, who else be on this shoddy wop side chick energy? Oh, Nick Cannon. Make sure when your oldest gets of age, make sure you're okay with her being, you know what I'm saying, somebody's baby mama, preferably probably baby mama number five. Make sure you keep the same energy, okay? Because they love to treat other people's uh, daughters with a lack of respect and, you know, put them, you know, treat them as dolls and put them on the shelf. But then somehow when it comes to their daughters, you know, can't no, nobody, oh, oh. remember T.I.? You know, he's checking his daughter's hymen and all this stupid shit. But has no problem with his son smashing everybody else's hymen. He had no problem, you know what I'm saying, smashing other people's hymens, other people's daughters. But when it came to his daughters, oh no, she can't be out here fucking. Child. Grandpa Shoddy Wop, make sure y'all keep the same energy when it's y'all's child. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, this whole situation is is just it's it's silly at this point. I think Carisha needs to stop taking all this to the internet she's she's looking bad out here if you want to be a city girl and these are the games that you want to play i'm cool with that because like i said everybody's grown everybody's consenting okay but you can't be in your feelings and you know getting upset and cussing folks out and going back and forth with people and trying to say that you're not what you are you're in a situation ship sis okay you knew it going in so just because you find out when we found out that he had a new baby on the way that's on you. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.